Hey there! Before we jump into the video, I want to tell you about our math video game called Mage Math. The game will help your child feel more confident in math, and our math videos are inside the game to really help your child succeed. You can find the game and all our videos at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey there! As you can see, we have a little predicament here. Gig and I were explaining to some of our friends from the math realm that 4.6 is bigger than 4.59. They said that 4.59 has two digits past the decimal, so it is bigger. Anyways, they are not happy and have started to throw things. Looks like the throwing stopped. Can you see if they are happy now? Oh. Why don't you learn about comparing decimals while we calm them down? Today we are comparing decimal numbers to determine which one is greater than, less than, or equal to. To start off, let's review decimal numbers. 3.25 is an example of a decimal number. We can also say 3 and 25 hundredths. The word and implies the decimal point. In picture form, the number means 3 holes and 25 out of 100. Notice how each hole is comprised of a 10 by 10 grid which has 100 squares. The last grid has 25 out of 100 squares shaded. This set of figures represents 3 and 25 hundredths. Now let's use this information to compare the following decimals using greater than, less than, or equal to. The two numbers are 13 and 11 hundredths and 13 and 21 hundredths. Since both numbers have the same whole number value of 13, we will focus on the decimal parts to compare. You could draw 13 squares if you like, but that's a lot. To draw 11 hundredths, we will shade 11 out of 100 squares. So 21 hundredths is 21 squares shaded out of 100. Which decimal representation has more squares shaded? That's right, the one on the right. Comparing the shaded regions, we can say that 11 hundredths is less than 21 hundredths, and we can fill in the blank with a less than symbol. Just in case you forget which direction the symbol faces, always have the open part towards the larger number. Let's try another example. Compare the following decimals using greater than, less than, or equal to 5 and 21 hundredths and 14 and 79 hundredths. Notice in this problem the whole numbers are not the same. 5 is less than 14 and because we know this fact, we do not need to compare their decimal parts. 5 and 21 hundredths is less than 14 and 79 hundredths. Let's compare 4 and 6 tenths to 4 and 59 hundredths. Notice how both numbers have the same whole number value? This means we will compare their decimal parts. Before we do that, we need to make sure both numbers have the same place value. The first number has one decimal place, where the second number has two decimal places. We can write a zero at the end of the first number to make it have two decimal places. Now we can say that 4 and 6 tenths is equivalent to 4 and 60 hundredths. Let's compare these decimal parts. Is 60 hundredths greater than, less than, or equal to 59 hundredths? That's right. 60 hundredths is greater than because it has one more shaded square than 59 hundredths. That means 60 hundredths is greater than 59 hundredths. So we can write the greater than symbol in the blank, and the statement reads 4 and 6 tenths is greater than 4 and 59 hundredths. Thank you so much for learning about comparing decimals. We calmed them down, so now we are all good. Uh-oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching our video. To support us in making more videos, please check out our game at magemath.com. MageMath will really help your child have fun with math, so check it out today.